What's up, guys? And yes, I know I said I wouldn't speak about topics like this, but I just had to do it. We're talking about Trump. Why? Because he just loves to lie. He would give Pinocchio a run for his money on all the shit he lies about. Holy fuck. If Trump was the Grinch, his heart would grow three times as big every single time he lies. It is ridiculous how much this man lies with the evidence being right out there for everybody to see. So if you don't know what's going on right now, there's a flood happening all on the East Coast. A big hurricane just came through and it's been destroying pretty much our Eastern coastline in America. And what's the best way to rally your supporters is to have a tour on the Eastern coast. Now, Trump has gone of his way to lie about the dumbest thing. Like you didn't even have to lie about this. He has pretty much said that Biden is not sending any help and the, the governor of Georgia is having a hard time getting him on the phone. Let me show you some videos. Uh, the governor's doing a very good job. He's having a hard time getting the president on the phone. I guess uh, they're, not, they're not being responsive. The federal government is not being responsive, but they're having a very hard time getting the, uh, getting the president on the phone. He won't get on it. Of course, the vice president, she's out someplace campaigning, uh, looking for money. So they gotta be, they have to be focused over here. It's too big. This is a really bad one. And uh, the governor's doing a good job, but he's having a hard time getting the president on the phone. This guy sounds like a broken record. He's having a hard time getting the president on the phone and the, the VP, she's trying to run her campaign. Aren't you trying to run your campaign? When all these people need help, you just trying to run your campaign right now? This is not exactly what you're doing, Trump. So anyway, this is uh, what Biden had to say about this. Donald Trump has, a, has accused both of you of ignoring uh, the decision. He is lying. Let me get this straight, he's lying. And the governor told him he was lying. The governor told me he was lying. I've spoken to the governor, I've spent time with him, and he told me he's lying. I don't know why he does this. And the reason I get so angry about it, I don't care about what he says about me. I care what he what he communicates to the people that, that are in need. He implies that we're not doing everything possible. We are. We are. And you and you, you spoke to the governor. I assume you heard the Republican governor of Georgia talk about that he was on the phone with me more than once. So that's simply not true, and it's irresponsible. I don't know what the governor wants to say about it. Let me tell you what I say. Oh boy, oh boy, Biden is not happy. He said this boy keeps on lying. The Republican governor has addressed multiple times that he has spoken to me on the phone. Why is Trump even lying? Why even lie about something like this? You lie about something as little as this. Imagine the serious and big things he probably lies about. And listen, I'm not trying to be like, oh, I'm a Democrat or I'm voting for Kamala or anything like that because I'm not. Nor am I voting for Trump. I'm not voting at all. But I just think it's so funny that this man lies a lot. He's probably setting a Guinness World Record of lies. Every statement he says is literally a lie. Anyway, let's go see what the actual governor of Georgia, the Republican governor of Georgia, has to say about all of this. Is Trump telling the truth or is Biden telling the truth? Well, we're going to find out right here. Can you share the details about what requests you made to President Biden? Well, I, I mean, we're the... I'll let Director Stalins talk about what we've done from, from GEMA, but just to walk back, I mean, we did an early state of emergency statewide for this storm because we knew this storm was going to be a statewide event. You know, it wasn't going to be just south of Macon or it wasn't going to be the east or the west side of the state. We knew we were looking at a monstrous storm that would be a statewide event. This is one of the biggest uh, wind uh, field storms ever to be in the Atlantic. And obviously, when you see the devastation, of a hurricane that came into Florida, all the way across Georgia, up through South Carolina, and still did the damage it did in North Carolina. I mean, it's just incredible. Um, so I, I just spoke, the president just called me uh, yesterday afternoon. I missed him and called him right back. And he just said, hey, what do you need? And I told him, you know, we, we got what we need. We'll work through the federal process. He, he offered that if there's other things we need, just to call him directly, which I, appreciate that but we've had fema embedded with us since you know a day or two before the storm hit in our state operations center in atlanta we got a great relationship with them we've been in touch with our congressional delegation uh with the speaker burns the legislative delegation and so uh you know thankfully we have an experienced team that's used to this and just like the ex expedited 
uh, disaster relief that we're requesting. Uh, they, they have acknowledged receipt of that, and I'm sure that they'll take care of that very quickly. Trump, what the fuck? Why are you lying? Why are you even lying about this? What? I mean, I know why you're lying. You're, you're trying to get as many supporters as possible to make it seem like Biden and Kamala are not doing anything for the people. But that's obviously not true. Biden has reached out and is trying to help and send resources and you're making it seem like that's not happening which is a lie there's no real need to lie on something like this especially when the proof and evidence is out there that is literally going to debunk your lies every single time and it's only going to make you look like an idiot but anyway i just want to talk about this real quick like i said i don't like to talk about politics or trump or biden or kamala or any of that stuff because at the end of the day you know i think it's all malarkey it's trump why you keep on lying? why are you always lying why are you always lying? <laughs> anyway, if you guys like these types of videos, make sure you like and subscribe. Cyber Glam, I'm out. Peace.